This is a patient of mine that I've been seeing for a while. He's had a ventral hernia and he didn't want anything done about it, so we just kind of left it alone. He now comes in with worsening pain and he's a truck driver, it just makes it hard for him to do his job. Comes in talking about maybe getting a repair, maybe not, deciding if he wants to have something done. So we really just have a good conversation about it and try and figure out what's next. So no pretty good taste for his surgery. Nope. And how long you had this honey? Years. How long? Twenty. About yeah. That. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it started out as a little knot. Right. And the doctors kept telling me, if it don't bother you, don't worry about it. <laughs> if it don't bother you, don't worry about it. That's kind of true, but not kind of true. That's our fault. Yeah. So, so what's happened is he has what's called loss of domain. Okay. So now he has more intestine out here mm -hmm. than he does in here. Mm -hmm. That's why I care for him. Because he's he losing weight, but he, he, he can do a whole lot with that. Right. So the, the, the problem is, I'm going to back here and get rid of it here. So the problem is that even when you lay down, you see that's where it all started. It's oh, kind of sick and it stretched right here. Mm, but even, well, it yeah. hurts. No, no, no. So you're putting things back in. Right. And he has to do that sometimes. Yes. And the easiest way to do it is when he's laying down. Mm -hmm. But the, the problem is, even in that situation, everything is still there and it's hurting there. It's right there. And right mm -hmm. there. So it's actually a pretty big hurt. Mm -hmm. You can see when he lays down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, and you pop. You can't hear if you like okay. it. Yeah, it does that all the time. So the, the problem is, all right, do a, do a fake sit up. A sit up? Like, like okay. you're going like to do a fake, like you're going to do a sit up for like a while. It's going to come back out? Yeah, exactly. It's you can see it already comes out. back out. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Already did it. Yeah. Alright, let's sit you up here. Okay, okay, good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Alright, so you want the bad news or the bad news first? Mm -hmm. uh, just give me the bad news. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the problem is you have what's called loss of domain, which basically means your abdomen has so much intestine out that if I try, this is probably 50 pounds of tissue, right? Here, maybe 40, 40 or 50. Even when I lift it up, I would say it's about 35 pounds, maybe 40. Mm -hmm. We don't have any mesh that we can put in that would hold it together and keep it in place. You know, He's heard that before. If we try to, what's going to happen is as soon as you sit up or as soon as you cough, it's going to tear. And you would be worse off because now you have mesh in here and you still have to hurt it. Okay. If, uh, do you smoke? No. Good. Also, your weight, your BMI is greater than 40. Okay, so that's a what we call a relative contraindication. What that means is, unless something else is going on, probably not a good idea. To take it. So loss of domain, not a good idea. Your weight, not a good idea. Um, I would not recommend getting this. I think it would probably cause you more problems than good. Okay, here's my question. Okay. Everybody says this weight. Oh, okay. I'm his daughter. I'm yes, sorry. Yes, he says his weight. Okay. But nobody wants to. I mean, nobody wants to help him. Nobody wants to. Right. And and, and the trick is, is that. Because he walks, he does stuff. Yeah, and some of this, I mean, if you look at him from here to here, he's not a big guy. Right. Um, I think he carries a lot of his weight in his belly, mm -hmm. and that's part of the problem. And then with this, that makes it harder, and it makes it harder to walk. Right. Mm -hmm. So if, if it were me, I would say, yes, we need to focus on trying to lose weight. But again, that's going to be hard in somebody's age, 
uh, if somebody has dip and they can't walk. Mm -hmm. um, what I would suggest is just limiting the amount of carbohydrates they eat. Try to get them to walk 30 minutes greater than 30, greater than 30 minutes, three days a week. Mm -hmm. And just watch, you know, cut out the pieces of cake and ice cream and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. But as far as trying to get that, I think I would probably, I hate to say I would kill you, but if I tried to operate on you right now, I would make you worse off than you are right now. Okay. Now he's a truck driver. He gets in and out of his truck. Right. And again, a is that going to keep getting worse in public? It will. And what I would recommend is getting like, uh, you know, those back straps that you see? Binders. Those, yeah, the binders you see the truck drivers right around when they're getting out. You need to wear one of those and make sure it comes underneath to hold it in place. Okay. That will decrease the amount of stress that you have. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. Sounds good. Yeah. All I right. Know, you got any questions for me? No. All right. Nope, not at all. All right, you can have the trouble. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, 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 it's all yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. It's all there, so. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right. Yeah. Y'all be good. Okay. I'm here. Yeah. I appreciate it. Say percentage-wise. As far as. To do this, would be a zero. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.